All right guys, welcome back to our channel. If you guys haven't done it already and you're still watching our videos, please like and subscribe our channel. But for those who do not know us yet, my name is Max and together with my wife, Caitlin, we have started a real estate business with $76 to our name, uh, both being full-time students. I'm also a student athlete competing for the University of Oregon and the German national track and field team. We have done those deals with really no background experience and have done over 40 wholesale transactions in the last six months alone you've generated you know multiple six-figure cash flow deals we have transitioned into property development and now are transitioning into multi-family investments as of right now we're working on a 292 apartment complex 292 unit apartment complex they're trying to buy with some of our private money connections we've, we've built and then remanage that and potentially hold a wholesale um, we're going to do some videos about you know those kind of deals as well but today i'm going to talk about how we bought 170 acres in arizona in the middle of the desert with a sandwich lease agreement that actually made us over thirty thousand dollar profit and i'm going to talk about you know what was so special about that deal how we did it and you know how you guys can t use that knowledge to structure some of your deals as well so stay tuned All right, guys. Yeah, so you guys might think, okay, 170 acres, right? That's a massive property, especially in the middle of nowhere in Arizona. There's a reason why we invested, why we targeted those properties, right? Like always we get properties because we are sending out mailing campaigns to property owners and, you know, obviously target specific property owners in order to get those properties under contract. And during COVID, there was a lot of movement that people wanted to buy huge, I mean, I'm talking like 50, 100, 200 acre parcels of land in Arizona just to get out there and be alone, right? They don't want it to have neighbors. This was, should be off grid, no restrictions, no HOA. They could do whatever, whatever they want on the property, have it like an S, you know, off grid escape kind of deal. I would have never done it myself. I would have never lived, you know, on such a property myself and no neighbor it seems to be scary to me, but. There was a huge demand. So once you realize there's a huge demand for that, we were targeting those demanded areas and we got, you know, property records for owners who own those huge parcels. Again, we targeted people who have owned those properties for more than 10 years um, and also out of state owners because that is kind of like that niche that we figured out is really high motivated in selling their properties. So we were sending out letters and we got that lady who called us and she owned 170 acres. There was no utilities to it, no road access or whatsoever. And she bought that property, I think 30 years ago. And she said, I clearly have no use for this property anymore. If you guys have a use for it, you guys are more than welcome to buy that property from me. So we took that property under contract and you know did that same process, same contract that we have the right to assign it, the right to wholesale it and so on at the exclusive right for, we gave us, I think five months for this property and this property did not sell as quickly because obviously you put it out there in the market and there was a lot of demand there was a lot of people looking to buy the property a lot of people reached out to us but those people still wanted to go out there and take a look at the property now the property was not close to anything so people had to fly in or you know drive nine ten hours to even get to that property and then find that property there was no road access so they had to plan it so we had multiple people looking you know planning those trips so it took a little bit of time for people to go out there and to, you know evaluate those the property and see if that's the right fit for them and obviously the owner knew we are also out of state and we're doing our due diligence to figure out how we can utilize the property how we can develop the property what's the best use for it so she was fine she was not in any distress situation she just had no use for it so she was fine giving us you know five months to close that property um, so we put it on a contract exclusive right to buy for five months and then we go we went ahead and you know advertised it out there um, on the market and after i think probably like 10 people actually going out there taking a look at the property we found a buyer for it but even those 10 people up front i mean some people were not able to navigate to the property there was no connection out there no service right so if you, if you didn't plan that trip right you you know flew in from a different state or you came in from a far city away driving hours to get to the property and then you don't have it mapped out the gis is not working there and then you're stranded in the middle of the desert so we had people you know calling us the day after say i couldn't find that property 
or you know there was a rainstorm that started and all of a sudden uh, they couldn't you know find the road anymore and they had to then obviously stop uh, the search for their property so their property was not as easy to find you know all those obstacles we were facing with their property uh, so I wasn't really sure if you could sell that piece, you know, it was something I was, you know, not used to and so I looked at it and, but I still gave it a shot. We still had it out there in the market because there was a lot of activity. We got a lot of views on it. We had a lot of people still reach out to us, being interested, asking questions. Um, and then one day that family went out there, they found that property. It was literally the perfect thing for them. This was exactly what they were looking for for months. Um, and the price was perfect. So they reached out to us and say, hey, we are really interested in buying this property. However, we don't have the cash available to buy it. And there's no bank out there that's going to loan you cash on a off-grid property with no utilities to it that you're not going to develop. You don't get a construction loan for it. So you have to close on cash with private money or sell financing. So in this case, they were asking us to do a seller financing deal. Now we don't own this property. We didn't own the property, right? So we couldn't just do a traditional seller financing. So, but they wanted to do the seller financing. So what I then did, I called the owner and I said, okay, so listen, I cannot get a loan for this property right now. I'm not developing it right away. So I cannot get a construction loan. You know, banks don't see that land as an asset. So I'm not being able to get a loan for it. And I don't have the money available to close it right now but I can close it within the next six months by paying you every single month a fixed rate. And she was fine with it. Like I said, she was not in a distress situation. She just wanted to get rid of the property. So we had under contract for $30,000. I created um, a lease purchase agreement with the owner that I will be leasing the property for the next six months. And I will be paying her $5,000 each month i was basically in a contract that gave myself the right to sub lease the property so i was able to you know sell it to the interested buyer i was able to sub lease it and i was also taking title initially so we put it under contract we put it in escrow we basically transferred title right away i didn't put any money out of pocket into the deal because i paid that lady out of escrow every single month on the 15th there was five thousand dollars going out of our bank account but the really funny thing about it is, is that every single month at the 15th there was money coming into our bank account so we sold that property for sixty thousand dollars over again six months so we had ten thousand dollars every single month so on the 15th there was five thousand dollars going out of our account but on the same day there was also ten thousand dollars coming into our account every single day every single month so we made five thousand dollars paid our bill we you know if something would have happened and we had, we had to foreclose on the property we wouldn't lose anything because we still make that initial profit um so it was a win-win deal for us now the contract with the buyer was then obviously that they could not sublease that property. They could not develop that property. They couldn't do anything to the property until it's paid off because I would still be liable if they would have you know, started developing the property or do anything wrong to it. Um, but I'm on title at this point in time and I'm still financing it. So we had to be careful there. We structured those contracts the right way and we signed a promissory note with the owner that we promised them to pay the $30,000 over six months in you know, equal terms. We didn't charge any interest um, on you know, buying a property. It was just a regular sale financing. On the other side, with the buyer, we actually, on top of that, we charged a 12.5% interest annually on their money that they're basically borrowing because it's a financing deal. So I was taking, you know, the position of a bank. So I said, okay, I loan you that $60,000, you pay me back. So I'll loan you with a contract with you giving that right to own that property. It was a 12.5% interest and a $20 a monthly service fee for us to record, which helped us just to pay for the CPA to create the contract and for the CPA to send out the invoices. Um, each month. So that was a pretty simple and straightforward process. Now we had to be creative, right? We've never done a deal like that. We had to be creative about how we can structure it, that we can finance it with the owner, but sublease finance it to a buyer so we don't have to put any money out of pocket and are still able to make the deal because, you know, $30,000 is a lot of profit and it pushes you in a way that you are getting creative and trying to solve issue that you're facing there in order to make that profit in order for everyone being involved in this transaction to be better off. And this deal worked out just perfectly. You know, they always paid on time. There was no issue with it. Closing company was fully aware of what we're doing. They were able to assist us in the process of making that work. And yeah, we still, 
we still have I think one month left until it's fully paid off so we did it on five months ago and then there's still one month left and we're waiting on the last payment once the last payment is done we'll be transferring over the title to the new buyer and then they're good to go to start develop the property we actually never really had to do anything to the property you know we owned it for basically six months we financed it to the owner uh, we made our extra profit we made our profit plus the extra interest rate profit so you know those deals are really really unique and you can structure a deal this way anytime especially if you guys go into you know small apartments i'm talking about you know five units to 10 units 15 units in most circumstances you find that the owners are willing for you guys to do a seller financing agreement so you don't have to get a bank involved you just finance directly to the owner you pay him every single month for a couple months and while you do this in small apartments you just make those necessary improvements to the property you change the management in order to increase the value then you resell it or you finance it refinance the property in order to get that value out and pay off the owner then to own it property or wholesale it to another investor and in the land business like we did it you just hold on to it wholesale it or you can even you know 170 acres like that you could have financed it you could have then if you have the money to finance it you could have financed it you could have done improvements to it by subdividing the property you know most of the time it takes you one two maybe three months until the process is done with subdividing them and then you could have wholesaled individual lots while still financing that whole thing to the owner with the owner and then still making an additional profit so there are always ways of owners are willing if they're not in a distress situation to do self-financing or owner financing terms so if you can take advantage of those in order to structure a deal that's another really creative way and this is how we have done a lot of deals as well and we are even selling some deals so we carry actually paper um, so people are paying us every single month it's a good way for us to get a passive income stream but still you know keep control and this is the same thing how owners see it the same way they build a passive income stream they don't have to pay tax on the entire selling amount right away uh, usually they have to just pay tax for those you know every single month they have to pay tax so it helps them especially if they're in any kind of tax situation and you just secure yourself with those contracts you make sure that the closing companies are aware of what you're doing um, and then you're able to make those deals work the same way and if you guys you know have any questions about that deal how we structured it um, i usually call it a sandwich lease purchase agreement feel free to leave some comments down below i'm more than happy to answer those comments or maybe make an additional video if you want to if you guys want me to go more in detail about how we did that deal um, specifically um, itself it's a really simple process but if you guys have any questions more than happy to answer and if you guys have made it so far already like always please like and subscribe we would really appreciate you guys you know supporting us growing as a youtube channel supporting us you know bringing all value out there adding value to you guys um, and how we did real estate how we've achieved so much success in such a short amount of time and we are more than happy to share our knowledge our wisdom our experience with you guys and therefore yeah please like and subscribe and i see you guys at the next video stay tuned <laughs>